Mr. Speaker, I rise today to urge the Senate to join the House of Representatives in taking immediate action to delay the employer and individual health care <coughs> mandates. President Obama has conceded that Americans are not ready for Obamacare with its unworkable mandates and negative e effects on the economy. Now, President Obama does not have the authority to pick and choose which parts of the law to enforce or to ignore. His constitutional duty is to execute law as it is. Since the original Obamacare legislation was passed by both houses of a Democrat-controlled Congress. If the Senate fails to approve these delays, they will be allowing President Obama to sidestep the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, we cannot allow President Obama to continue ignoring the Constitution. Congress is required to act. Law cannot be changed by a monarch via a blog post. We need to help the American people by delaying these unworkable mandates. In June, the report showed that we had lost 240,000 full-time jobs in this country. In North Carolina, they reported that health care premiums will go up 284 percent. The American people deserve better. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen.